Do you think that you can just come in and wipe, you know, a fresh, clean slate with a marriage proposal? Mohammed, a marriage proposal. This is a promise. Oh, it's even plastic. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to a Wacko's review. I'm not going to talk too much as usual, but like this video, subscribe, comment down below as we review Skinny Girl in Transit, and also tell me what's your favorite food of all time. For no reason, just, just write it down. Okay, roll the intro. So I lied. Oh yes, I lied. Please, stop booing me, please. I beg you. Last week, I said I'll be in Skinny Girl in Transit and my name is going to be Leonard and I'll be Shaliwa's new lover. You guys won't believe this. <laughs> it was a lie. <laughs> and I'm very sorry for lying because I feel bad because a lot of people believe to me. So the truth is this. I would be in the next week's episode. My name is now Marcos. We changed the whole script. I'm going to be a financial billionaire and I'm going to be selling Bitcoin and Bitcoin accessories. Episode 2 of Skinny Girl and Transit dropped and honestly, like a babe that is asking a guy, what are we? I have mixed emotions about this. So where do we start from? Okay, yes, yeah, seems nice. Of course, I'm an influencer. I lie about going to the gym, but all I'm taking is Ozempic. Tiwa's mom and we'll see are still like the comic relief of a show, where we have people going through actual depression. We have a lady that doesn't want to share a baby with anybody, and we have a man who should be on criminal minds. Mama Tiwa started her paid influencer job with this waist trainer that was given to her. And honestly, I've never been offended by any gym sponsorships. Even if they did BBL and they're wearing gym wears, I don't care as much as people think. The only thing I hate is when people advertise that thing. Trade your Bitcoin with the surest and safest reliable Bitcoin broker Wako Uye. That thing irritates me. It's like they are using the same script. The issue with this ad is that they gave her a size small. But again, are waist trainers supposed to fit you or be smaller than you? I'm lost. Help me out here. Stop going to Alewa Snake. You are too big. Go Alewa. goes on this mind-numbing event. You see, she's still in this hunt to become an Ote. So she goes to Shaliwa. And I feel bad about this because nothing about Shaliwa gives Ote vibes. She's not an advocate. I am, so I know what I'm saying. I always wear a wig when I go outside. What's that? Ote. So they go through some clothes and none of them were given the Ote look. It looked more like Bridgeton went to Shanty Town. Sounds bad, but that's the best way to explain it. You see, to dress like you belong in the Gen Z, the motto is simple. If you can hardly see my private parts, I did a bad job. You should see all my parts. I am not lying. Self-harm? Maybe there is hope for her. Our son cannot continue to spend money like this. Didi and her man are in this confusing phase. Let me explain a little bit. Their families are not on the same foot. One family wants a big wedding. You know those ones that allow random people just stand outside the, the venue, but, but we all know they are there for the food. And the other man's family doesn't want any random person coming to beg for food. They want a small wedding and some might say, oh, it's for aesthetics reason. But no, they just want to save money. See, I find that really disrespectful. Are you saying we're poor? Are you rich? Uh -uh. That was actually uncalled for. But this planning is not needed only because Didi doesn't want to get married. She loves love for other people, but she wants her own space. She wants to sleep with a man, go home, come back next week, sleep with him again. And nobody had an issue in the comment section. But when I put up this graph about how I want my family to be, people were like, why will your wife be in another house? See, there's love. She, she can stay in the next house. In my beauty sleep, guys. I want to believe Indani has a deal with the hub. You know what I mean by the hub. You go there a lot every week. In the last episode, we established that Aminu is not just a criminal that should be on criminal minds. He's a bond dog. Let me explain it again. Definition of bond dog. Someone that wants his dog in a bun. In this episode, he shows how deep he's willing to go. Believe me, I said that on purpose. So he calls Tiwa to check up on her and when he noticed that she couldn't talk freely, he took the opportunity to do this. So, no matter what I say, you can't respond. Affirmative. You know you are. Uh, you tired me out, but I still want you. 
Go back, I'll call you. Then a twist to the show comes. Her name is Grace. She's representing a company from South Africa. And I kid you not, as soon as I heard that country, nothing she would say next would shock me. Yes, me too. Me too. And I trust Daring to, to work her magic. I can't wait to get in bed with you. Okay, let's talk about Shaliwa. I guess we've all been waiting for me to get here. I'm finally here. So far, we know Shaliwa is troubled by her past. Ghana. So it did not help that the last episode ended with her getting proposed to by her troubled ex. So she did what everyone would do. She ran away and she went home. She went home, guys. She surely went home, guys. She did not go home. She went to the back of the restaurant and did what I was confused. She called everyone on her contact list. She called her sis. Nah, that one was with Bond Dog. <laughs> Getting dogged. <laughs> Alright, she called her therapist and we all knew that this babe will not pick. Except his work hours don't call me in the night. Then she went back to talk to him. Why did she do so? I don't understand. That you made a conscious effort to avoid me at your nephew's naming ceremony. They went back and forth and I honestly did not like this scene. But at least he apologized, saying he did not mean to scare her, that he was just desperate. So he had to go back to his books and use the generic line of marriage because that always gets girls to talk to you. Do you think that you can just come in and wipe you know, a fresh clean slate with a marriage proposal? It's not, it's not, not, Mohammed, not a marriage proposal. This is a promise ring. Oh, it's even plastic. <laughs> After I heard that, I was stone deaf. It, it sounded like someone slapped me. All I was hearing was wow, wow, wow. I bet you should wrap up the conversation. I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> my uncles, my family, they're all coming into Lagos. I want you to meet them. He then decides to show her off to his family and she likes this. A lot of girls like this whole family thing, I don't even know why. The episode ends in a funny way. Tiwa finds out that Shalewa has been going to therapy because of her very big notification bar. I think she should change it. And she gave her a shoulder to cry on. This man asked her to move in with him and she agreed. Cozy and cuddly. Aww. Who is that other person? Does he have two kids? To be honest, I watched this show four years ago. I don't remember some details. Tiwa then reports Shaliwa's ex to Aminu and my guy carried his phone and I was like, let me go and call um, Kweku. He's gonna pick him up. <laughs> Shut up, man. Criminal. Where did you get your money from? But did anyone notice how he did not talk about his Ama Piano babe? Just pointing that out. Then, Shaliwa goes for Mohammed's family dinner. Initially, he called her beautiful. Like, Shut up him out. Then, he says he's going to introduce her to his half-sisters. And I was like, oh, that's nice. He said, oh, they'll speak English. Immediately as they greeted, they spoke in Aosa. Shaliwa, these are my sisters. Uh, Amira, Mariam, and Zainab. Oh, so you are the girl he's been talking about. Yes, and it's so lovely to meet you girls. Mm. All so beautiful. Nice to meet you. Thanks. So, when are you about Frida Ma? Borobi. But something bad happened. She noticed that he has a lot of half sisters, half cousins, half gate mans. She was like, oh, family tree is thick. It's confusing. Is this how you're going to be? And she's scared because he's probably going to marry other women. That mean that all the men in your family exercise the rights to marry more than one wife? Uh, um, yes. Wait, do you have a problem with that? Then that's how the episode ended. Then be honest, I don't like this episode that much. I don't know, something just felt off. I felt like it was slow. I'm giving it a chance, but it felt slow. And I believe Grace is what the show really needs to spice it up. Because I mean, he's a bond dog. <laughs> And he needs to put his dog somewhere. <laughs> and Grace wants him too. It's just that they'll be doing it to I'm a piano playing in the background. What did you think about the show? I, I, I did not like episode two. Episode one was good, episode two was slow. Tell me what you think down in the comment section. And yeah, um, your favorite food. Don't forget that. Bye guys.